Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today, the Highland Park 25 year old. This one's balled at 45.7% ABV. It cost me $415 Canadian out of Alberta. Now, that was a few years ago. Prices on these have since gone up. You're looking at about $650, $700 Canadian now, or in the States, about $550, $600 there. Um, the LCBO here in Ontario wants $900 for this bottle. I will let you know if the value is worth anything close to that after I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. Okay, on the nose. There is so much going on with this nose. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm like pretty familiar with this whiskey. I've done like a serious dent in this bottle over the last like uh, year or so I've had it open. I'm just gonna read you out my tasting notes. Um, I've done very extensive notes on this whiskey almost every time that I sip it, I write something else down. So here we go. I get apples, apple pie, pie crust, sourdough bread, honey, leather, banana, peach juice, mild chocolate, white chocolate, old wood, toffee, vanilla ice cream. I get Mr. Christie's arrowroot cookies. Remember those ones, a little baby on the box. Uh, raisins, waffle cones, and like a really nice like multi note. All of that's in here. Um, one of the most complex whiskeys I've ever had in my life, without a doubt. It's just so, so good. You can just nose this forever. It keeps evolving and changing in the glass the longer you let it sit. It's just a really, really awesome whiskey. Let's go to the palate. So nice. It's delicate and rich at the same time. It's bold, but it's subtle. And again, the complexity is all right there. Here are my notes for the palette. Um, I got sherry, floral, leather, apple again, honey, chocolate and white chocolate again, um, a little bit of light cinnamon, golden plums, and underripe pears. The finish on this, nice, long, slightly drying, such a, such a good whiskey. I mean, this is kind of like the next tier of whiskeys. When you try like a really something special, you kind of notice it right away. This one, um, absolutely amazing whiskey. Score for me on this one, uh, 92 out of 100. Huge, huge mark. Value wise, I paid 415 Canadian dollars for that. In this day and age, that's a great price. For the value relating to this whiskey, I think this is justified. I think this is a 400 and $15 whiskey. So I'm gonna leave the value at zero for this. Um, so 92 out of 100. Nowadays, this one is a lot more money, 600, $700, 900 if you're shopping here in Ontario, not worth those prices in my opinion. Um, I think if you were gonna pay, I would go as maybe as high as like 500, 550 for this whiskey. And then, you know, you're starting to dip in that that value is gonna go down a little bit. Um, in the States, if you can find it for, you know, 400 to 500, I think you can still buy it at that price. Anything higher, I don't think it's worth it. I think that you can just buy lots of other whiskeys um, that are gonna give you the experience for this at the 600 to $700 range. But if you were lucky enough for me and you bought this early, um, awesome, awesome whiskey and uh, definitely worth the money at $415 for sure. Let me know what you think, guys. Have you tried the Highland Park 25? Um, do you find the complexity is as much as, as I do? Um, I love this stuff. Let me know in the comments, guys. I really appreciate it. Cheers.